Hey guys, it's Pyram, and welcome to C++ tutorial number 18. In this tutorial, we're going to be starting a pretty big subject in C++. Um, we're going to be looking at uh, arrays. Um, now, we're not going to be looking at everything about arrays. Um, in this one, we're just going to be looking at integer arrays, because character arrays is almost completely another subject because um, it has a lot of history, character arrays have a lot of history in C, and so I want to cover that separately. Um, so, for this tutorial, I'm just going to be covering integer arrays. Um, now, sorry, one sec, let me just close some of this stuff. Don't want to be disturbed. Um, to declare an array, all we have to do is type the type of array. In this case, we're going to, because in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at integer arrays. We just type int, and then we type the name of the array, and then we just type two uh, square brackets, okay? And inside those square brackets, we type the number of elements inside an array, okay? Um, now, um, before I uh, talked about that, I should, probably should have discussed what an array is. Um, basically, an array is you can't you can imagine it like a box, okay? A box is like your um, array, and you put stuff inside that box, and every individual um, thing inside that box is an element, okay? So in this case, I've just made an a box which can hold numbers, and it can hold five numbers, okay? Basically, um, now here. I'm assigning separate values to each element in that array. You can see, oh, and also um, another thing, a very important thing about arrays, which a lot of programmers often uh, forget, is that arrays always start with a zero. It's called the zero offset, um, which means that the first element in an array is actually um, your array name and then uh, zero. Um, so by doing this, by uh, Basically, actually, as well, what I'm doing here is, um, I think it's called sub something, or an array or something. Um, but basically, to look at an ele element in an array, or to uh, assign to an element in an array, you just type the array name, and then you type inside square brackets the uh, element you want to look at or assign to. So in this case, we're looking at and assigning to the first element, which is my integer array 0, and giving the first element in my integer array a value of 1. And then the second element, which is uh, you find by looking at in my integer array 1, because remember the 0 offset, so um, by looking in my integer array, my integer array 1, we're actually looking in the second element of my integer array, and I'm assigning that a value of 2. Then the third element is 3, 4, 4, 5th, 5. And here I've simply outputted all those values just to demonstrate that uh, this worked. So if we take a look, we can see it clearly did work. Um, and again, in the count statement, I'm using, I'm typing out the, the, uh, the array name, then I'm looking at the element by typing the element I want to look at between square brackets. Okay. Um, now let's just comment this out. Let me. Oops. Uh, oops. Okay, because I'm actually using I'm declaring the array below here with the same name, so I just need to comment that out. Um, now, doing what we're doing here. Uh, is quite tedious. Uh, I mean, we've got to look at every element in the array, we've got to type out its name every single time, and then uh, look at it through the square, bra square brackets and everything. We can actually do this in the uh, at the same time as the declaration of the array, and this, this is the only time we can actually do this. Um, and to uh, um, by do this, I actually mean we can assign all the values like so. Okay, so to do this, we just type the type of the array, then we type the array name, we type the number of elements, type an equals, and then between curly braces, we type um, all the values we want to put into each element. Um, I'm going to talk a bit more about this later. So bear with me if it's for a sec. Um, I'm also demonstrating that this works 
in exactly the same way by outputting this stuff. So if we just run this, we can see it outputs exactly the same thing. Okay. Um, let's comment this up because we don't want it popping up all the time or looking at other bits of code. Okay. Um, here I'm talking about uh, I'm showing you how to declare arrays with an unknown size okay to declare an array with an unknown size you do it exactly the same way 